Hi everyone, Mrs. Thompson here. Today I'm going to show you how to draw an adobe house or an adobe structure. I've already drawn mine here. Um, I drew it using pencil and sharpie. I traced my pencil lines with sharpie and then I colored it with crayon. You can use whatever you have at home to color with. That might be crayons, markers, colored pencils, anything you have to add color you can use at home on this project. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over so you see my drawing a little bit larger. We are going to go ahead and learn a little bit about Adobe. So Adobe is a building material made out of natural sources like earth, water, and straw, and is one of the earliest and strongest known building materials in dry climates. Adobe bricks are made small so that they can dry in the sun without cracking. Then Adobe mud is used to hold the bricks together. Construction with adobe is inexpensive and the thermal properties help keep the interior cool during the day and warm at night, which is great for desert climates. So everyone needs to go ahead and find a paper. And I'm doing my paper in landscape orientation, which is this way. If my paper was this way, we would call that portrait. So today we're in landscape. And I'm going to be drawing with Sharpie just so you can see what I'm doing, but I would recommend you use a pencil so that you can erase it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now somewhere on the Google Classroom for this artwork, I should have posted some different types of Adobe structures that you could draw. I'm going to show you how to draw this one right here. I'll also show you how to draw a cactus and maybe an agave plant and some other things like mountains. But there are all different types of adobe buildings you could draw. All right, again, my paper is in landscape. I'm using a Sharpie. I'm going to start by making the bottom of my adobe house. I don't want to be too close to the bottom, but maybe, maybe two inches off the bottom. I'm going to make a straight line doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Then I'm going to bring my line up on both sides. I want to curve inwards again on both sides. This house is symmetrical. We're going to go up again. And then I want to put an arch at the very top. And I'm going to put a little window right here. I want to add some vents. Since it is a desert, it gets really hot. We need some air vents to keep the cool air flowing in. I'm going to make my doorway using a rainbow line or an arch. And I want to make my doorway and my windows look 3D or three dimensional. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna add another line right here. And then I'm gonna stop it right there at the top. Same thing with my windows. I wanna draw just a box or a square first on both sides of the door. I'm gonna make a straight line here. And then I'm gonna make a line down and across the bottom. This makes it look 3D. All right, there we have our Adobe house. Let's add an agave plant. I think we have room for an agave plant right here. It's gonna be a small one, but agave plants can get huge. So this is a young agave plant. I'm gonna start by making two curved lines. So there's one and two. And again over here, one, two. Another one in the middle, one, two. And again over here, one, 
And one more. All right, so there's our agave plant. We can also add a cactus. I think I'm gonna draw my cactus over here. I wanna draw the base of my cactus first, so that's like the bottom. And then I'm gonna go up and make, start making the arms of the cactus. Your cactus might look a little bit different than mine and that is okay. I also want to add some lines on my cactus. Oh, there's the bell. All right, I've added lines to my cactus now. Next thing I want to do is add the line that separates the ground close to me from the mountains. And usually we call this the horizon line, but since there are mountains in the background, I'm not going to call it the horizon line. So we're going to make this line that goes across our paper. As soon as you bump into the adobe house, jump over it. Call this a bump and jump. Start again over here. Draw your line. As when you bump into the cactus, jump over. There you go. That's sort of your horizon line. So if you don't want to add mountains, you could make this the sky and this the ground but I do want to add some mountains to the background of mine. So I'm again going to be doing that jump and bump that I just talked about with my mountain. So as soon as I bump into the house, jump over it and continue my mountains here on the other side. And I'm going to do a few different layers of mountains. So there's layer one. Each layer is going to be a little bit taller. It might even be bumpier. Do one more over here. And a big one. So there are all my layers of my mountains. And I want to make this sunset because I feel like the sunset has really beautiful colors. You can make it any time of day. It could be nighttime, daytime, sunset, or rise. You could also change the weather. But since this is a dry desert climate, it's probably not gonna be raining. So just keep that in mind as you're choosing what type of weather you want your artwork to have. I'm gonna add a setting sun, so I don't need to draw the whole sun. I'm just gonna draw a little bit of the sun here behind the mountains. All right, and there you have your adobe house with an agave plant, a cactus, mountains, and a sun. You can color it with whatever you have at home. That might be markers, crayons, colored pencils. You can use, if you have watercolor paint, you could use that. Make sure you ask permission first. Be sure to text me a picture or upload it on Google Classroom so I can see how it turned out.